you know, students, uh, API students perhaps having like kind of an, I wouldn't say an identity crisis, but kind of um, unpacking their own identities. I feel like um, that's why, you know, teaching an API, being a student in API is so great is because that, that's where that revealing uh, can happen. There, there's a space created for it. Um, and I feel like in my own work, I feel like I'm always, I'm literally revealing something that's like underneath the surface of the painting, so. We are celebrating the uh, 100 year anniversary of the first Asian student to enroll and live at William and Mary, which is really exciting. Um, and what that journey has kind of been over the last 100 years, because I feel like it hasn't, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of things and I'm, and um, there's been a lot of, you know, waves of, uh, of migration of Asian and Pacific Islander people to the United States. So I'm interested in learning more of that, about that uh, in, in relationship to William and Mary. This painting, uh, which is behind me over here, uh, the Muscarelli's uh, acquiring it, which I'm super um, grateful and um, I'm just really thrilled about it. It's called uh, The Sound of Fate Knocking at the Door Too. The title of the work um, comes from a line in a uh, biography of, of, of Beethoven uh, talking about the first four notes of Beethoven's fifth, um, the kind of iconic dun 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 dun, and how it's supposed to sound like the, f it's supposed to um, kind of remind the listener of the sound of fate knocking out the door. We've had friends and family who, you know, had, had suffered through this uh, pandemic, but also had been um, victims of, of uh, bigotry and uh, racism. And uh, not to mention, uh, you know, the um, the souls that were lost uh, in the Atlanta uh, killings. Um, it's pretty shocking stuff. And I, you know, hopefully it's on the decline now. But um, yeah, it was getting kind of, it was pretty alarming, I'd say, for a little while. I feel like the arts do heal, and I feel like um, giving anybody a voice that you know maybe did not, or like showing them what is possible in the arts, I think, is also, is always. Um, uh, something that I think about uh, in terms of my own uh, artistic practice and my own uh, teaching practice. I was trying to squeegee like me and my wife's skin tones to, per, together perfectly, uh, but then I, I kind of created this error and flipped the squeegee over, so it created this marbling effect. So I feel like in a lot of these paintings, I'm trying to figure out <laughs> what our mixed race child will look like in the future. <laughs>